Assalamu alaikum. My name is Maria Sharif. I'm from Ireland and a physical therapist by profession. Alhamdulillah, I got a chance to be accept Islam. But my question is, my father never got the chance and shirk is the biggest sin and I want to know if there is a specific dua or something I can read on his name so that his sin will be forgiven. Sister has a question that Alhamdulillah she had accepted Islam and she says that unfortunately her father he died as a mushrik. So can I read any dua anything in his name so that sin can be forgiven. Sister of the Quran says in Surah Nisa chapter number 4 verse number 48, Surah Nisa chapter number 4 verse number 116, that if Allah pleases, He may forgive any sin, but the sin of shirk, He will never forgive. Because a person who has done shirk has committed the most heinous sin. So except for shirk, any other sin, if the person is doing shirk and before he dies, if he repents, Inshallah, Allah will forgive. But if he dies as a mushrik, he is destined for hell. There is no other option. And this is also narrated in the Quran. When Ibrahim, may please be upon him, Prophet Ibrahim, when he prays for his father, who was a mushrik, then a verse was revealed that when the person is alive, you can ask Allah to give hidayah to your parents, to your father to your mother, to your brother. May Allah guide them to the straight path. But if they die as a mushrik, and if you know they die as a mushrik, you cannot pray for them. You can only pray that, Oh my God, Oh my Lord Allah, make for my offsprings Muslims who will submit their will to Allah. And this is the dua of Ibrahim alayhi salam. His father also was a mushrik. But he does a dua in Surah Hajj, chapter number 22, the last few verses. He prays that make my offsprings those who would submit the will to Allah, who would be Muslims. And we find that both these children, Ishmael alayhi salam and Ishaq alayhi salam, both of them became messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So what I request to you sister, you make a dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may your offsprings be the one who will submit the will to Allah and be on the straight path. Hope that answers the question.